continue that form. And we know when he can get going, he can be really, really dangerous. And this is going to be a nice battle between him and Reyes. Fuller delivery, whack down the ground. And ooh, that's some painful work there. Put a foot out to uh, try to prevent that one. Dinesh Mendes. Ooh, uh, that one must have hurt. This one's uh, taking an edge. Just popped up in the air. Should be a catch. Kamara underneath it. And has he managed to take that? Looks like he hasn't. He's managed to drop that one in a big, big drop. So it's nicely played by Altazman. Just using the pace of the bowler and hitting that for a boundary behind point. So good stuff by Altazman. Well, he goes for that reverse hit slash switch hit, but it's uh, certainly it's out there. It looks pretty plumb to me, and uh, the umpire taking his time to get out, but that's the end for Kamran Ahmad. Rode his luck a little bit. Really should have been taken when he presented the opportunity. Let's take a look at this one again. Ooh, what do you think about that one? think I've uh, changed my mind a bit on the second viewing. Yeah, I think maybe uh, on the replay it might be missing off stump, but I can understand why the umpire is giving him his switch legs. Sitting his hand normally opens the batting anyway. Oh, this oh, one's another chance. Pathy Rana's certain it's gone, and this one's out. I don't think there's too much doubt for the umpire here. He's edged that one through, and that will be the end of Jibraz Moroso. Wickets tumbling early for the Nicosia fighters. They have a serious hole to dig themselves out of as they find themselves at 9 for 2. Fuller and straighter. This one oh. going right through BLC's Kamara's hands. But the fact that he managed to get a hand to it will prevent it from going for a boundary. He'll chase that one back. And it's a couple of runs from Abdullah for Abdullah Tazman. And they'll come back for a third because a slightly wayward throw. I think a bit of a rush of blood from BLCS Kamara. And he'll be a bit disappointed in himself. Gets that one right. It's this one right. It could be a chance to catch this one. Kamal Ray there just off the camera taking that catch. So what an eventful start to this over as well. Bowled four consecutive wides and then got a wicket. This is some pretty <laughs> interesting stuff here from the Nick Sri Lankan Lions as... I think I see a fighter's uh, move on to 16 for three. Uh, Parviz Mia departs. Again. Oh, this one could be close. I think it could yeah. be gone here, Munir Rahman. That's a brilliant Yorker angling straight into the stumps. And that'll be the end of Munir Rahman, who never looked comfortable out there. He endured a pretty miserable time. And in the end, I think Sadoon's put him out of his misery. That's uh, four for 10 for Munir Rahman. That's uh, very unlike him. Let's take a look at this ball again. Went for the big shot, and there it is. Yorker, toe crusher. And that's certainly crashing onto the stumps. Not too difficult decision for umpire Munib Mukul. This one's uh, played away by Abdullah Al Tazman to make that 10 runs through the leg side with that shot. Beautifully played by Al Tazman. Sadun just didn't have enough pace to bother him with that shorter delivery. 14 runs and managed to get a wicket. This one's uh, absolutely clubbed by Abdullah Al Tazman. That will save sell straight into the Olive Groves. Beautiful shot on the first six of this match. Just got his line and length slightly wrong there. It sat up nicely for Abdullah al Tazman, who was there to whack it. Nice six and a much needed one for the fighters. This one's uh, absolutely struck there, but it's going to go straight to the fielder. And it's a well taken catch by Chemal Sadun, who doesn't put too many down. He's one of the safest pairs of hands for the Sri Lankan line. Another wicket falls for the Nicosia fighters. It doesn't seem like Abdullah al Tazman can find any partners to accompany him. He's running out of partners here as the Nicosia fighters have lost half their batting order. This one's played very nicely by Abdullah al Tazman. was a bit of width and off of there. Roshan City I and got that slightly wrong and he took advantage of it so he moves on to 32 and he's really a lone man trying to lead this uh, Nicosia fighters charge. There it is. Uh, that will be live at 5.30 GMT. And Ramjan Hussain finally gets hold of one, but he hits it straight to the field, and that's gone to Chamal Sadun. And it's the end of Ramjan Hussain's innings. He uh, connected on a ball for just the second time uh, today, and this time he hits it straight to Chamal Sadun, who never puts anything down. So it really has been a bit of a carousel for the uh, Nicosia fighters. That's another man to depart. Oh, oh he's done the right thing there, Alvi Chaudhry. It's just... Uh, no, he goes leg side and he gets all of it. Yeah, he's just getting his uh, line slightly wrong here, Mapalagma. He's going a bit too far down the leg side that time. He also dug it in a big sh bit short, and certainly with his pace, you can't be bowling at that length. So, and he goes to the boundary again, but it's slightly higher. It's hung up in the air. Chamal oh. Sunu with a nice leaping effort, but he clears the fielder, and it goes over the boundary. So Abdullah al Tazman with back to back sixes here finishes this one. and. You whack this one as well, but it goes straight to Roshan Siri Wardana. You feel the pressure was just getting to Al Tazman. He's edged this one through to Siri Wardana. That will bring this over to an end. A very expensive over from the Sri Lankan Lions' point of view. 17 runs off it, but Mapalagma has the last laugh. This 
one's uh, struck away by Alvi Chowdhury. It's, uh, it's high. It's high. It just kind of seems like everyone just lost the ball for a bit, but he's hit it for a six. So they've certainly gone over 72. That was, uh, seems like a six that's just caught everyone by surprise. Uh, no one seemed to be able to spot the ball and has gone over the boundary rope. The fighters will not want that at all, but he starts with a wicket. Yeah, a little bit of a juggle, but he managed to take it. Alamin, a very soft dismissal, just a sent one right back to Siri Warden, and that's a nice little bit of catching practice for him, and he's never going to get too many easier wickets than that one. This one's going to take a bit of an inside edge, very well bowled indeed, and it'll be a one first run of this over, and of course uh, Siri Warden are just uh, pointing there. I wonder who he's pointing at. Yeah, it looked like the bat batsman just changed his line then, maybe maybe put the, the ball off. Oh, another one. So the big shot again, and he's decided to try to go for the non-strikers, and that's the end of all of each other's innings and the end of this innings as a whole. As the Nicosia fighters just about make it to 74, another quiet over there by Roshan City, where they up one run and one wicket. This man has given up one run over two final overs uh, throughout tonight. This is a sensational stuff and really uh, isn't a good sign for the Nicosia fighters who just haven't looked good enough. No, not at all. Very disappointing innings, but... You never know. Cricket is a funny game, and 75 can can be a big total if they get an early wicket. Early two wickets. You never know. Yeah, as we get ready, it's Alamin bowling the first ball. Now this one's certainly going down the leg side. That one uh, might even have been uh, borderline wide for a left-hander. And uh, Alvi Chowdhury, uh, the skipper, does pretty well to get to it, and it's a couple of freebies for the Sri Lankan Lions to start off. This one's going to take a bit of an inside edge, and uh, well, he just finds ways to get boundaries by hook or by crook. He's off to a great start here again, and absolutely going back to that. He managed to make 28 runs of 14 deliveries, and off to a flyer here as well. Don't think that's where he intended it to go, but. And this one's a very nicely played by Chamosu in towards point. He'll push back for a second one shortly, and he'll be helped by a little bit of misfielding there. That's gone away. That's Ramjan Hussain who had a. This one struck away by Chamo Sadun. It's going straight to Al Tasman. And what were you saying? He'd be absolutely delighted if he got that wicket. And it's gone to the man who should have been bowling the next over, Abdullah Al Tasman. Well, the fortunes come back to favor Saikad Al Amin. And he's got that big wicket of Chamo Sadun. This one's taking a bit of an edge. I think it's gone. Abdullah Al Tasman will fist pump the air. And Sajita Saranga will finally have to walk off. He just uh, strolled towards the left side a bit, but the umpire. Eventually, he raised the finger and gave him his marching order. So a couple of quick wickets for the Nicosia fighters. And are we going to see a little fight back? This one's popped up. Could easily be a catch, but uh, Bielsius Kamara looking very uncomfortable to Munda Rahman's bowling. But, uh, well, there was no man backing up there, and that's why they're going to get some <laughs> overthrows. <laughs> this one angling into the leg stump, and Bielsius Kamara will pick out the gap. It'll take 1-4 and go for a boundary. Just got his length wrong there, Munna Rahman, a bit too full, and it gave Kumar the chance to stroke that one away to his favorite boundary. He got this wicket, it could turn this game on his head. He goes for a fuller delivery, he digs that one out, Kamara, and it'll just be a single. He's looking for a second one now. He didn't run for the first one particularly hard, and did the throw go to the right end. The fighters seem convinced he's been run out, but it's a shake of a head from the square leg umpire, and they're still appealing for it. Let's take a look at this replay. He's done well to get it there on the full. Been closer than we thought. Yeah, it just didn't just didn't ground his batter on time. No, he uh, just dropped it over the end. Six o'clock Central European time at 9:30 IST. This one's just played off his pads a bit too full. It'll go behind square leg, so a little mistake there as the fielder tries to stick a foot out in vain, and uh, that's a boundary for the skipper Bathiran. Let's see if he can respond here. This time he just drags his length back a little bit in order to correct it, and uh, the fielder gets across there. A nice bit of work by him. Oh, could and be he a comes run all the way down for a second run. Should definitely be a run out here. A massive mix up, horrible mix up, and it'll be the third wicket. We were talking about that third wicket, which the Nicosia fighters desperately needed. They've managed to get it from a run out, and it's the skipper Pathirana who's just stroked a boundary, and now he's going to have to walk back to the dugout. Yeah, horrible mix up here. I think uh, who was it here? They called it for that second. Fuller delivery and just played back to Altazman oh. and it very nearly have gone onto the stumps, but it's going to be a single. So Kamara, so the Lions do at this stage. This time he goes for the big shot. So he has it gone the distance. Oh. It looks like it has. That's a big shot and that's a certainly put a massive dent to the fighters' hop. The hopes the run rate. Here he is now, Ahmad continuing. 
This one ends up played oh. away by Siri Worthen. It just goes over the fielder's head, and that's a beautiful shot through cover. And there he is, Laquinder Singh, the uh, Muflon's uh, star bowler, there to collect it. Excellent, excellent work. And Siri Worthen now has really, really deflated the fighter's side. This one might just be, and I'll continue after this ball. This one's absolutely clubbed by Kumar, but Altaz been underneath it, and he should take it. And we were talking about them desperately needing this Kamara wicket, he never looked particularly comfortable, BLCS Kamara got a chance to free his hands and all he did was just uh, send that one straight to Al Tasman, but it might be a too little too late as you feel all the damage was done in that previous over. Oh, the ball was nicely played by Sir Warden and maybe if Munda Rahman cleanly collects that. Huge pressure on Islam, eight needed of the last over. Goes for the big shot there, come on Reyes. Are they gonna push back for a second run? It's just a one run so the drama continues to build. Islam's plan is here to go full and wide. So the big shot, Roshan Siri Wardana, and he's absolutely smoked this one, send it straight into the Olive Groves, and that might just have iced this game. Brilliant stuff by Roshan Siri Wardana. That was some special, special stuff. Made this game as dramatic as possible, and then he ended it in style. So sealed this one with a kiss. Roshan Siri Wardana signing off on what truly was his night, brilliant stuff by Siri Wardana, and what a sucker punch for the fighters who thought they had a chance.